Kaiju, Turtles, Dragon Ball, and more. It's Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, collectors. It's going to be Steven here, and welcome to the first round of unboxings we're going to be doing here for the San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusives from Tamashi Nations. Today, we are going to have an unboxing here of the Super Saiyan Son Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Son Gohan Exclusive Edition figures. So these are going to be available at San Diego Comic-Con 2023, and not only are these going to be available, but there's going to be a whole host of other Dragon Ball awesomeness that will be at SDCC as well. To follow up on all of the most up-to-date information for Dragon Ball at SDCC 2023, you can head on over to en.dragon-ball-official.com slash special slash SDCC 2023. Or if you're on mobile and you need a short URL to enter in, or maybe you just want to put that in instead, I have one for you and that is going to be bit dot lee slash dragon ball sdcc 2023 exactly as it shows up on your screen for ease of access so yes with that in mind uh, new information can come out daily and i'm sure as information does come out and things may change you're going to want to stay in tune with the official website so this way you know as stuff may possibly change and new information gets posted that may even come out after this video goes live so with that being said we have what i think is going to be the most popular of the exclusive editions that we have this year. It's going to be the set to recreate the father-son Kamehameha. Now, when we are taking a look at the box, which I think at this point we can go ahead and we can go ahead and snap, so this way I can sync it up, look at the front of the box, uh, we are only really able to see Gohan here, and we get a little bit of a hint of what's going on for Goku. So for Goku here, uh, as we switch around to the back of the box, and we actually have the promo shots, we can see we have what is affectionately known as Ghost Goku in this set, which I think is actually pretty cool. Now, if we go back to the anime and the manga, he should, depending on the scene, be in his base form, and he has his hair spiked up like, uh, like a Super Saiyan, but I think this is a rather unique take as well. It is pretty cool. The top and the bottom and the sides of the box are just going to continue that exclusive edition style guide that we have had since, what, 2018, I believe? I think that's back when the exclusive edition of Cell came out. Can you believe it? Yeah, yeah, that's been quite some time. So anyway, let's go ahead and make sure we are all nice and synced up here. And all right, it's time to crack open Gohan. So we got our knife open here, and let's go ahead and cut on this side. Is that the side that we open up? I forget. Let's go ahead and ask the guys over at Bendai Collect in their live stream that they did. Let's go ahead and check them out, which you can check them out up over here. I will go ahead and link to them. And make sure you are following on all of the applicable socials because we have Tamashi Nations proper and Bandai Collect. They do work really, really well together. They will be bringing you different information all throughout SDCC 2023. You're going to want to follow both of their outlets. So this way you don't miss anything, whether it's going to be reveals or coverage for Dragon Ball or if it's going to be like Naruto or even SH Monster Arts. I know a lot of you guys like that. Um, whatever the case maybe you want to make sure you're following there so for Goku here is what the figure is actually going to look like because this is the first time we have a chance to see him in this video uh, we get all these different hand parts and off to the side we get the Kamehameha this one is going to be pretty much the same one that they included with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku except um, it's blue thumbs up so here's what we're going to do now, for my unboxings, we generally speaking take a look just at the figure and a little bit of a close-up of the accessories, and then we kind of move on about our day. But here, we're going to have ourselves a little bit of fun, and we are going to get a close-up look of everything. So, first and foremost, let's go ahead and take a look at Goku's faceplates. So, let's go ahead and get these all out. And then we'll get Gohan's out and we'll take a closer look at them. All right, so let's go ahead and look at Goku. Here he is. As we can see, the decal application, the paint apps here are really cool. Here he is with his screaming face. Then we can go ahead and take a look at Gohan's as well. So Gohan does sport the battle damage, which is nice. The original release did not have that. And that is what folks did want with that release. So this is an opportunity for folks to, uh, to have that. And so there is Gohan with his alt face plates. 
All right, so let's go ahead and zoom back out real quick. So this way we can get a look at what's going on here for the tray. Now let's go ahead and assemble the Kamehameha because this is something that I think some folks were a little bit, um, they were having some trouble with, which I understand why, um, because we do get these seven little spikes here that can be difficult to put together. But um, I'll show you how to do that once you go ahead and you open yours up. Okay, now once you have it in place, you just gotta zoom in and focus in there. So, you do have the one bigger spot, and then you have these. Okay, now after uh, just taking a little bit of time here to just look at things carefully, um, what you basically need to do is just keep in mind that we have two long parts and we have two short parts. Or I'm sorry, five short parts. And what you basically just need to do is sort of eyeball it carefully because the long parts have their own set structure. And it's kind of difficult to see because they're, well, mostly clear, the holes. And the bluish background of the orb makes it somewhat difficult to really get everything in correctly. But once you do, all right, and then now carefully making sure everything is put together. This is what the final construction of the Kamehameha effect part will look like. And then this um, will be the last part for Gohan's hand peg to go into. So this way he can hold the Kamehameha effect part like that. Really cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom back out real quick. And now let's do the last part of this video here. And let's take a look at Gohan and Goku. All right, so for the alternate hand parts, we are getting the usual for Goku, which is going to be the instant transmission hands, the sort of fighting hands, the Kamehameha hands, and the splayed out hands. For Gohan, we are getting the uh, slightly splayed out hands. We are getting somewhat of a grip hand, sort of a Kamehameha hand, splayed out hands, and then the Kamehameha proper. So here's what I think everyone is really looking forward to. I think everyone is really looking forward to Goku. So here's a look at him. He is using the full power Super Saiyan body, which a lot of folks did like. Some folks were a little bit in between, but I think we can say this. This looks really nice. Joints hold up nice and well. I know some folks had some concerns about some looseness here or there, but what I can say is... Oh, yep, yeah, when I put some effort into it. Yeah, but otherwise, all good. We'll put Goku back. Here's Gohan. A chance again at a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Go ahead and remove the protective plastic. All good. How does Gohan hold up? Like a trooper. All right, cool. So, uh, review because this is going so swimmingly, will be posted in my Raditz unboxing. So stay tuned for that, okay? All right, folks, so thank you so very much for checking out this unboxing. It really does mean the world that you are checking this out. And again, I hope you are as excited for SDCC 2023 as I am because it is going to be awesome and make sure that you stay subscribed so this way you know when the reviews go live. Guess what? Every day this week for the rest of this week, okay? All right, and that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching and I do want to make mention, make sure you are following the official channel. So for social media, make sure you are following on Twitter at Bandai Collect and at Tamashi Nations. On Instagram at Bandai Collect and at Instamashi and on TikTok at Bandai Official. 
Thank you to Bandai Namco Toys and Collectibles America, specifically the folks at Bandai Collect, for coordinating sending this out for a look for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be at SDCC, so make sure you stop by and say hi. Thank you again. I'll catch you in the next video.